Hello everyone, welcome to week 16 in my fourth grade class. Welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is Monday, December 4th, 2023. Coming to you at the end of the day, Monday, to let you know how our day went. So let's go straight into our slides. So for Monday today, we started with our Smart Start where the students needed to complete some reading comprehension questions related to our RDBC story, Remembering Hurricane Katrina. These are the questions right here. We went over the answers after I collected all the students' work, so I will be scoring this quiz, and we got to review the answers, so that's great. And as we reviewed the answers, obviously, we also went ahead and looked back into the text, which I put right here. So we were referring back to the text so that I show them where the answers were, and then students were working on completing this reciprocal teaching organizer. They needed to fill out their background knowledge, their prediction. I know we already read it, but I told them to just write it clarify these three vocabulary words. They needed to visualize a particular part of the story where Hector got his friends together at the meeting. The question was on the sentence that told us that the events in the Astrodome happened in the past because we're working with flashbacks and the students had to summarize. I told them this is how you could start, but you need at least one more sentence to make sure it's a complete summary. So then after that, I went ahead and worked on some writing with them. This activity for point of view and perspective was with my block two this afternoon. So I'll just show you right now. So we were going over the character's perspective for Hector, as well as the point of view of the story. So we were filling out, adding to what the sample already had. So we continued from that part of the story, which was around here. The next day, my friends joined me at our volunteer club, the Houston Helpers. So we went ahead and used that as our next clue or detail. Then we continued on adding and found Hector's perspective. So that's the bulk of what we did in reading for both classes. In my morning group, my block one, we were able to get to our writing lesson where they needed to continue working on their body paragraphs. As a review, this is the current prompt that we're working on and i already had accumulated these notes with the kids so we had already taped that into our notebook before and today i gave them the bucket so that they had it in their notebooks and i also typed all the paragraphs that the groups each wrote and wrote the names of the group members so that they had a reference to the paragraph that their group wrote and they needed to complete the second bucket for their second body paragraph some students are doing a third body paragraph so i let them do what they feel is best in responding to our writing prompt. So then I told them to leave some space for the introduction, which we will write later, space for their body paragraph, which some of them actually need to revise from what their group did or finish it because some groups didn't get to finish. And they'll continue writing on these pages to make sure that they complete their future skills writing essay. That is what we ended up doing today. I am going to go ahead and get ready to go. I did write or start writing another body paragraph on the board to kind of model for the students because some of them had three skills in one bucket, which I told them it was fine because one source talked about science, math, and technology being important skills that students need for future jobs, especially going into the space industry. So I wanted to model for that particular group how they could have done it together, write about all three skills at the same time. So this is the paragraph that I started on the board, but I need to finish it with some elaboration. So those were the skills. So this is what I started with in this paragraph. So let me explain three important skills students need to help them find jobs in the future are science, math, and technology. In source one, help wanted, the author shares how the space industry will need workers in the future and list science, math, and technology as important skills for getting jobs. So then I will go ahead and elaborate on those three skills and why they are important for future jobs. I hope that we could try to finish this essay as soon as we can so that I can start on some expository essay writing before we go on winter break. So this week is gonna be pretty interesting. We have a couple of events. Tomorrow we have a ballet event in the morning for an hour. 
On Wednesday is our hour of code day, so I already registered both of my classes for a do along Minecraft hour of code activity with Microsoft. And Thursday, they're taking the PM2 state test for reading, and Friday, they're taking the PM2 state test for math. So we'll see how the rest of the week goes. I'll let you know. I'm not gonna be here on Friday, so I do have to leave sub plans for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get going, but I'll see you in a few short seconds for tomorrow. We have made it to the end of the day on Tuesday. I just finished with my Minecraft club. It is very late. It is actually 6.06 .06 right now, so I wanna make this quick so I can go home and relax for the evening. But this morning I had my block two, my ELL learners, and I started by giving them their homework since I forgot to do it yesterday. We were gonna go over it, but we also needed to go to the cafeteria for a special ballet presentation that started promptly at 8.45. So we had dancers from a local ballet company come and demonstrate different moves and dances. And it was just a wonderful, beautiful experience for all of the students that participated. The program lasted for about an hour. Then we came back to the classroom. We finished going over homework and I read to the students the story of Aguinaldo, which is our anchor text in Wonders. After we read the story, I had the students work on a story elements, character perspective, and point of view handout that I created yesterday after school. So let me show you that right now. Starting off with our slides for today, this was the homework for my ELL students. I put it on the board so that we can read it together, annotate it, talk about it, let them know how to answer the questions so that they knew what to do. And then we read Aguinaldo, and this is the passage or actually the paper that I gave them to complete. So I went ahead and also went over that after I gave them some time to work on it together. I did translate different parts so that the students knew what each part was in Spanish and in Russian. So that is what the completed paper looks like. And this is what the paper looks like in paper form. <laughs> so I did it as a present because an aguinaldo is a surprise Christmas gift. So the students had this to fill out information about the main character, the setting, which is the where and the when, the character perspective of the main character, the conflict, the resolution, and what is the point of view and how they know. Because the presentation this morning took uh, about an hour, or an hour I should say, my co-teacher needed more time with the group that she had in the morning. So I had them in the afternoon and I was starting to go over what they needed to do with Aguinaldo, but we didn't have enough time to fully finish because then they went to PE and after PE, I had them try to work on it, but we had many interruptions. And I don't blame them because this, this day today, started yesterday afternoon the school and the area is affected by a water main that broke nearby so our water pressure is very low our fountains our water fountains are not working our bathrooms are not really working for flushing so the students had to go to specific bathrooms in the first floor that were working and that took time to send students in little groups or pairs to go to the bathroom and then come back just knowing you know that that is there looming in your head that you know we have a plumbing issue happening in the school is is enough to make someone not focus so i don't blame them and apparently we're gonna be facing this situation for possibly 10 days so we're gonna try our best people we're gonna try our best so that's what we ended up doing not much with the afternoon group they did start reading the story and they did get the passage or the paper i should say the handout with the gift the aguinaldo so that they can work on it so tomorrow i'm going to try my best to get them to finish that as soon as they come in because at 9 a.m we are participating in an hour of code event with microsoft minecraft education edition so the students are going to have an hour to work on coding which is going to be fun and exciting and i can't wait for them to do that so i scheduled the time for 9 a.m for my morning group and 12 p.m for my afternoon group anyway that's all that i have to share for today tuesday i will see you in a few short seconds for tomorrow hello everyone coming to you at the end of the day wednesday and today was a really good day just going to give you a quick update because the principal is letting us plan at a place of our choice since the ac in the building is not 100 percent and you know we've been having some 
bathroom problems, uh, plumbing issues because of the water main that broke nearby. The principal just came on and let us know we could go. And she also let us know that tomorrow we'll have some portable toilets in the building. And since the water fountains are not available to those students, they're also going to provide us with water for the students as well. Tomorrow my students are also testing for the state test uh, progress monitoring too. I already set up the classroom. As you can see, it's an inverted U, but with a line in the middle, it's more like an A, because I'm gonna be standing over here to monitor all the computers at one time. So that is ready to go. I'm just gonna get my things and go, but today what we ended up doing was Hour of Code. It was an amazing event. There was a live stream happening that I registered us for, and it went over the objectives that the students would learn at the end. I expected this to be frustrating for the students because a lot of them haven't done coding. I told them it's okay if you're frustrated, it's okay if you're having a hard time. You know, we will get there. It's just you're learning something new. So after the live stream, even though they walked us along to what we needed to do, I went on my Minecraft account and I also showed the students the different things that they needed to do to finish their hour of code. I am going to print out certificates for them probably tomorrow since I'm going to leave now. But yeah, we had a really fun day and it was a great activity. I will definitely do it again. So that's all I have for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone. We have made it to the end of the day Thursday. It is way past my time to be here because I wanted to leave everything ready for the sub tomorrow. My students finished their state assessment today in ELA, which is reading, and pretty much the whole entire day was taken up doing that. So most of them finished by the time they went to music at 105. And after music, everyone had finished. So my co-teacher and I decided to just take them outside for the last 45 minutes of the day for some much needed recess. So I'm very proud of my students and I can't wait to see how they did on this test so we can compare and tweak instruction here and there to allow them to meet their needs and be ready for the final test, which is the one that will give them their final level in May of 2024. So I wanted to show you the packet that I created for them tomorrow. I don't expect them to use it, but I wanted to leave something just in case. And since it's math tomorrow, they might be finished earlier than the reading test. So I wanted to leave some fun activities for them to do, including a choice board for them to choose three activities that they would like to work on. So here is the packet. It is a choice board. The directions are inside. And here are all the choice board options that I put together. I just put together this packet right now after school, which is why I'm here at 7.05 right now. So they have a comic strip. It's related to what we have been doing in Wonders. There's a crossword puzzle on our eight vocabulary words, point of view reflection, some inspirational quote, talking about making other people smile, which goes with what we have been reading. Their vocabulary holiday tree, so each vocabulary has an ornament. They just have to draw a picture that's related to the meaning of the word. The ABC brainstorming on different ways people can help their communities. A letter to me if they choose to write one. Character interview. And the 30 circle challenge right on the back. So that is what I left. And these are the instructions that I left for my sub as well, along with the calendar. So everything is ready to go for tomorrow. So that's it. That's all that I have to share for today and for this week, this being week 16. Next week, we start week 17. I'm going to be wrapping up this week, next week on Monday, and then we'll be able to get to the next unit as soon as we can. So that is all that I have to share with you. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.